Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Frozen Needle, a dexterity scaling thrusting sword that also happens to be extremely light, so I decided to wear the full Bullgoat set for this. The thrusting sword movesets are extremely quick, but do very low poise damage, so I feel like if I'm wearing a high poise set and I'm able to trade with a lot of the longer range weapons that have higher poise damage, it's very optimal for this kind of setup. Not to mention these are standard slash piercing damage weapons, so we can use the spear talisman when your opponent is attacking and you get the counter attack in there with a thrusting type weapon, you get the bonus damage from that. So if I'm able to poise tank, that means I'm able to trade while they're in their attack frames, so we get the counter attack damage from the spear talisman. I feel like that's going to work extremely well with these weapons. Uh, other than that, we are wearing the Great Jar's Arsenal Talisman for the Weight Load and the Earth Tree Favor, and then we have the Crimson Amber Medallion for the other Talisman. We did need both of those for the Weight Load for the Bull Goat. It is very heavy, but having the weapons be extremely light helped quite a lot. Now, taking a look at the stats, we have our usual health pool at 60 Vigor. We have the minimum endurance needed for all the armor, the talismans, and the weapons that I plan to showcase today. We have 14 strength because I was a Vagabond starting class. Otherwise, you can go with 11. You don't need them at all. And then we have the rest of the points just poured into Dexterity as that's where this weapon gets all of its damage from, netting us 427 AR. But it also has 60 Frostbite buildup, so that's an added bonus to the weapon. And on top of our poise, uh, adding the extra damage from the counterattacks, I think we'll be doing pretty high numbers while doing our consecutive light trades with the L1. Now taking a look at the moveset, the R1s are the standard thrusting sword attacks, just the forward thrusts. Where this weapon is kind of unique though is its R2 fires a projectile. So you can fire it out without charging it, you can charge it up to make it higher damage, or you can start charging it with R2 hit circle to do a back step and fire it very quickly. That's a very useful thing that uh, thrusting swords have, you can actually just dodge back. I don't use it very often with most, as when someone sees you charge a heavy attack, most of the time they're going to dodge away from it. But we have the projectile here, so that can be very useful for long range attacks. Uh, the running light comes out as a forward thrust attack, the running heavy as well, but does a little bit more poise damage, so... I feel like I use the running heavies a lot more than I use the running lights. Uh, the L1 chain, I've showed you at the beginning here a little bit. I'm going to be using that quite a lot since we have the poise needed to tank things and trade into that to build up the frostbite. It's going to be very useful. Uh, oops, the running L1. Good for chase downs, good for applying pressure. The jumping attack I don't use very much, but it's interesting. The jumping light and the jumping heavy. And then we have the rolling L1. Which I, I don't know, I tend not to use the rolling L1 that much when I tried out uh, the dual rapiers before. But perhaps we'll use it this time. And the rolling light attack. I'll probably stick to mostly the dual wield moveset. With some heavy attack sprinkled in there because long range projectiles and you can dodge away. Now taking a look at the Ash of War, it's just impaling thrust. Nothing unique, but you can look in one direction and aim it last second. It does have a really good moveset for change up right as you launch it. Although I still tend to not use that kind of thrust that often as it's pretty easy to dodge. We'll see if we can pull it off in the duels though. I think that's all I really have to say about the weapon, so let's just see how it performs. Alright, we have our first opponent and it is Alva the Naive. Hello, sir. Hey! Hello. I know I'm a monstrosity. Hey! I know. Believe me. <laughs> I see it. Uh, Alright, so we're going to try our opening with the, the heavy attack. There we go. Just see if we can catch them off guard. If they strafe to the side, they do dodge that, so that's interesting. We did get the first chip damage in there. And they have Beast Roar. Ah, they were prepared for that. I'm going to try to make use of that as best I can. As I feel like it does come out pretty quick. It has decent tracking on its own as well. So we have access to a long range and a short range moveset. Which is very nice. I thought we might trade with that, but I had already taken like the... Those phantom hits on my poise went down. <laughs> oh, bad trade for us. So he also has a long range attack as well, which is very nice. We frost bit them, but they happened to dodge it. So they, they did get to dodge the damage, but now they will take excess damage. Well, uh, maybe I don't have the poise needed to tank a claymore. Maybe I have to be like full poise. Let's just go with the L1 trades here. Okay, maybe we do not. Oh yeah, we're also, we're not wearing the poise talisman. How could I forget? I thought I had it on. <laughs> That's why I was a little confused. Jumping out one. All right. It's down to this. They want to finish it with the long range, so we're not going to let them. Oh, good dodge. Very good. Ah, we're keeping the pressure, but not enough. 
Oh, I was close. Very close, Alva. Very close first fight. I love Claymore fights. When someone using it as a Claymore. I was I was not participating in the Claymore fight there, but I wish I was. <laughs> Very fun fight. Alright, so we made some minor miscalculations at the beginning of this. I forgot I needed the Bull Goat Talisman to reach the poison amount needed to tank a lot of the heavier weapons with the over 100 poison damage. So we swapped that on. And then I swapped off my Crimson Amber Medallion, which lost me 160 HP. But I do want to see how well the counterattacks work when I'm able to poise trade with pretty much anything. Hey! Hello, Kaladin. How are you, man? Kaladin Brew. Let's give you a bow here. So we're a little bit less tanky because of the HP, but now... Well, he has straight swords anyway, so he wouldn't be the best example, I suppose, but... Double that, okay. Double red main flame. See, we're able to trade... <laughs> We're a trade machine. Made to trade. Oh, and then the heavy set. Oh, the heavy attack. Oh, actually, that poise broke us. Okay, we gotta be a little bit careful. <laughs> Just a little careful. <laughs> oh, that was just out of range. <laughs> nice, Kaladin. Nice, man. Trying to make a poise machine here. <laughs> Very fun fight, though, man. Very fun fight. Okay, that didn't seem so bad. The loss of the 160 HP. We'll see. We'll keep this one, this setup going forward. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Great Sword Fan. Hello, sir. I'm also a fan of the Great Sword class and the Great Sword itself. He was like, "Oh, bull goat." <laughs> the pleasantries went right out the window right there. <laughs> he just jump attacked. He was ready. <laughs> Alright, somehow we hit that. Unfortunate for him that we have that move. Impaling thrust. L1. Oh no, we can trade with that at least once. Ooh, that was a damaging trade for him, honestly. Oh, didn't think that was going to hit me, to be honest with you. Oh, latency's kind of high. I see. I see, I see. He took that hit a little bit late as well. Oh, I can kind of see when he's doing like the little walk where it misses. Okay, getting by the shield is going to be the interesting thing here. Oh, we got all of those in during his counter attack. Very fun fight, great sword fan. Very interesting battle. Moving on to our next battle, we have Virgil. Hello, Virgil. <laughs> He's like a bull goat. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, man. Do you have any buffs, man? Or are you good? Are you good the way you are? It's up to you. You can buff if you need. Okay, you're good? Okay. Don't know if he like, thinks I'm attacking or what, but... We landed the first hit. The ice projectile that nobody expects. <laughs> it's... We have a long-range weapon, essentially. We have the poise needed to tank that. <laughs> oh no, very fun fight, Virgil. That's a weird death animation. <laughs> very fun fight, though, man. Alright, moving on to our next fight. We have Mighty Morbin. Hello, man. Oh, he's ready. He's just drinking that flask right away. Alright, man, let's do it. Hey! Ah, uh, wait. Oh, yeah, I do. I think I have the dexterity knot in my flask. So he probably has a dragon breath. All right. Dodge! <laughs> Is he, like, full? <laughs> He's full dragon. Maybe. We gotta just go trading. Yaw, terrible. Twin blade has not enough poise damage for me. <laughs> We are Poise Master. No, very fun fight though, Morbid. Very fun fight. I realized I prolonged the You're Terrible Twin Blade. <laughs> Sounded like I called them terrible, but no, that was a fun fight, man. Moving on to our next fight, we have Galeris. Hey. Hello, man. What's up? Anytime I see that chest piece, I just think I'm going to get Scarlet Raw Breathed. Something about people that wear that. They love to wear the dragon, or use the dragon attacks. Right, we go in full aggression. We have the poise needed to tank the rocks. Oh, it's just like, oh, did that combo? <laughs> oh, God, Galeris. You got some stuff going on here. 
get me away from that. <laughs> that actually scared me. I did not expect that spell. Oh, the rocks are the worst. <laughs> I rolled right into that. This time we won't be rolling into it again. Oh, instant casting that from casting the claw attack multiple times. I see. And then he hangs out in the lava. This has got Storm Stomp. I wonder if we can tank Storm Stomp. Woo, that would have finished me. We dodged properly. Very fun fight, Galerius. Caught me off guard. Drain like half my HP with those uh, two claw incantations. Whatever the name of it, the claw explosion is. Very fun fight, though. Who do we have here? We have Viron the Faithful, or Viron the Faithful. Hey, man. How are you? So you got a staff in the left hand, or are you... Okay, we're buffing up. Let's do it. We buff it up. Dragon Flame. <laughs> Is that the endless cast? Oh my god, if it was. <laughs> oh god. Okay, as long as that's not the dragon, I need to get close to him. He's gonna continue to do his dragon breath in my face, if not. We just need to stay on him. Very fun fight, man. I swear that dragon breath almost covers this whole arena in distance. It's crazy. All right, and our final opponent is Lord Bodrin. Hello, man. How are you? I like your outfit. I don't like my outfit. You don't. You don't have to. You don't have to <laughs> be nice to me. All right, what do we got? Um, so he's got the Bloodhound's Fang. That missed entirely. I don't know how. I was trying to do this. <laughs> Uh, but we didn't hit him, so that's unfortunate. We did tank his hit, though, so there's that. He really likes his jump attack. Okay, so a little bit of latency, I can tell. Although he still, we just hit him there because we were just doing that so much. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it. Okay. Makes sense. Gonna be careful with my dodges now, then. He could go for the Ash of War, which might be a good play. Jesus, that has such an impact. <laughs> Felt like you hit me with a freaking spear. <laughs> Just my whole, all the camera shake on that is crazy. Oh, very interesting. Almost got me, man. Almost got me right there. Very good damage. Those knives, though. I have those too. All right, the next hit, the next hit lands wins. Feel like I should have hit you there, but you know, it's okay. It is what it is. Very fun fight, Lord. Very close, down to the last hit. Your outfit was interesting too. Moving on to the invasions, and I spawned right beside them. Hello there, sir. I feel like you don't know that I have iframes when I spawn in. I don't know how long it'll last, but it'll be enough to maybe kill him. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Goodbye, son, bro. That's what you get for attacking me on spawn. That's what you deserve. Take ice. Icicle number two. You like the icicles? <laughs> hey, look. It's it's our average rivers of blood. It's everywhere, I tell you. We don't exaggerate this. <laughs> Everyone uses this. Boys. <laughs> You're not used to it, are you, Rivers of Blood? <laughs> Very fun fight, though, honestly. I mean, you have Rivers of Blood, I'm wearing the Bull Goat set. It evens out. <laughs> Alright, moving on to our next invasion. We are in Castle Soul. And we're in front of them, I guess? Oh, they're over there. Oh, nice. Okay, they know we're near the boss wall. Thought they were. Oh, there they are. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hello. A bow. Dodge. It's rain and arrows. You jump, I jump. I have poise. 
I'm coming in. Oh, you almost saved a moon veil. Almost. Let's get our buff going. That moon veil did quite a lot of damage. All right, OKG. We trade. Oh, man, he's taking those from a different dimension. All right. I feel like th those first two, they should have hit. Oh, they did hit. <laughs> these will definitely hit eventually. You're already dead. Well, not if you heal first. <laughs> wait, wait, which one is which? <laughs> nice. I won the battle. The anime battle. Very fun fight, dude. Interesting, to say the least. Those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Frozen Needle. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized, and of course, keep recommending weapons below. I really do appreciate it. But until the next video, this is goodbye, and thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.